गुड मॉर्निंग डे स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक दिस इज द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक दट इज सैम्पल क्वेश्चन पेपर डिस्कशन फॉर ट्रिपल ई स्ट्रीम क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन टेन ए इलस्ट्रेट दी कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड वर्किंग ऑफ सेमी कंडक्टर लेजर विथ ए नीट स्केच एंड एनर्जी लेवल डायग्राम दिय स्टूडेंट्स वेन एवर यू एक्सप्लेन द कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड वर्किंग ऑफ लेजर वेदर इट इज इन सेमी कंडक्टर चाप्टर आर इन लेजर चाप्टर इट इज बेटर टू ड्रा द एनर्जी लेवल डायग्राम इफ अट आल इट एक्सिस ओके एनर्जी लेवल डायग्राम बरद्रे अद वेटेज नो सेमी कंडक्टर कंस्ट्रक्शन सेमी कंडक्टर लेजर बंदू इट कन्सिस आफ टू टाइप पी टाइप अंड एंड टाइप सेमी कंडक्टर P type and N type semiconductor join together forming a junction. E E blue color is yellow. This is nothing but junction. Okay, it has got six faces, three pairs of opposite faces, one pair, two pair, and a three pair. Okay, so uh, this particular pair, this pair, and this is pair, and the front and back are polished and silvered. One side is partially silvered, the other side is completely silvered. So that the region between these two faces will act like an active region. Photons travel to and fro and suffer reflection. and finally photons will escape from the partially silvered face so that is what this uh, uh, wave structure represent so finally laser is coming out so this is partially silvered side and back side is completely silvered face and top and bottom are connected to metal uh, terminals so that they act like electrodes between these two terminals you can connect the power supply that means this is for biasing purpose so n type is connected to negative p type is connected to positive so that it is a forward biased structure so idana construction alli explain maadi nan yen ishtu antu helidala adu nimu own notes al barudru aayitu so yav tara laser diode semiconductor laser diode aa semiconductor laser consists of two semiconductors p type and semi n type p type and n type join together to form a junction okay and the two faces are polished and silvered one face is completely silvered another face is partially silvered so that the laser will finally escape from the partially silvered face remaining two faces are connected to metal terminal so that they can be used for the battery connection so biasing purpose we can use so that uh, the construction is as shown in diagram so idanna nan illi wording sali helidini and it is better to mention what type of semiconductor you are using because in semiconductor there are many types silicon germanium gallium arsenide indium telluride etc so here i am using gallium arsenide so it consists of heavily doped and that is another point you have to mention it is not a normal semiconductor it is a heavily doped that means the charge carriers are very large in number that is a major difference between led and semiconductor laser in led we have only nominal dominator doping whereas in semiconductor laser we have heavy doping so it consists of heavily doped gallium arsenide semiconductor diode having p and n sections sections are types and i to the active medium is pn junction this blue region is active medium because the whole lasing action is taking place only in the junction region okay the two faces are perpendicular to pn junction so ee blue idiyalla idu pn junction idike perpendicular agandre ee kade matte ee kade two faces are uh, two faces perpendicular to the junction are polished and silvered laser beam finally comes out from the partially silvered face okay and the other two faces parallel to the pn junction okay so this is the pn junction top and bottom are parallel okay this is the pn junction top and bottom are parallel front and back are perpendicular so here do no now metal terminals ke connect madlikke andre battery connect madlikke use martivi and these two we use for getting the our laser output so that is the uh, sent the meaning of this sentence the other two faces parallel to pn junction are fused with metal contacts across which fb fb means forward bias voltage is applied using dc source the overall size of the diode is very small less than 1 mm naan korsak ishtu thappa bardidini it is very very small it is less than 1 mm aa tara irutte adu okay now the working goes like this so what happens actually when the forward bias voltage is applied across the junction that means when you switch on the battery electrons from n side enter into p region i show you the energy level diagram so this is the energy level diagram so this side is p type this side is n type when you connect n type to negative p type to positive so electrons are pushed from the electron in the n type because electron is negative it is connected to negative so negative negative repulsion so electrons are pushed so illi inda electrons illig bartave so this is shaded region represents the number of electrons this blank region represents numbers of holes 
सो एन सैड इलेक्ट्रॉन पुश आगे पी सैड हॉल पुश आगे सो वि हव मोर अंड मोर इलेक्ट्रॉन इन दिस रीजन विच आर पुश फ्रम एन सैड अंड मोर नंबर आफ हॉल हियर पुश फ्रम पी सैड दट इज दीनिंग आफ दिस वे फारवर्ड बयास वोलटेज इज अड अक्रॉस जंक्षन एलेक्ट्रॉन फ्रम एन टाइप एंटर इन टू पी रीजन where they combine with holes causing spontaneous emission so when electrons come here they won't stay there they finally jump down to the ground level electrons from conduction band come to the valence band because in valence band they find large number of holes so electrons from the conduction band come to the valence band and they recombine when they are coming down they emit the radiation that emitted radiation is spontaneous and we get ordinary light this is what happens in the case of light emitting diode in light emitting diode we get light continuously okay but in laser what happens because we are using a heavily doped semiconductor more and more electrons are pushed in suppose if we increase the voltage number of electrons entering the junction again increases see in laser finally what we want we want more number of electrons in the excited state that is what is called population inversion is to hechu electrons idru namage advantage ene adu so if you can increase the number of electrons more and more and more by some method either by increasing the voltage or by increasing the doping concentration or by doing both adike nan illi heavy doping anta helidu nodi illi first sentence alle helidini it is a heavily doped you know what is the meaning of doping means concentration adding the uh, impurity heavily doped means more concentration of the impurity so when you have more impurity concentration there will be more number of electrons in the conduction band more number of holes in the valence band so now you increase the voltage for the then more and more electrons are pushed into conduction band in the conduction band number of electrons keeps on increasing and number of holes in the valence band keeps on increasing at one stage the population becomes maximum and one of the electron will come down to the ground state ground state means here it is valence band once it comes to the valence band it will recombine with the hole and photon is emitted thus emitted photon will influence all those electrons to come down that means stimulation takes place as a result of that all the electrons present in the conduction band will at a time will come down see in laser it is not just emission of more number of photons it is a emission of more number of photons at a time you are new classroom in the obbobre horgade bandre if one by one if one by one comes out of the classroom it won't give any effect let us say there are 50 students in your classroom after the class one by one one by one will come and they keep moving in the corridor it won't give any effect suppose all 50 at a time you come and proceed in the same direction let us say you come out of the classroom and proceed towards the principal chamber then definitely somebody will ask someone will ask why where are you going why all of you are going like that that means the impression created when you all are going is totally different same thing holds good even in the case of laser also when all electrons are coming down at a time same number of photons sorry or uh, more number of photons with same property are emitted and proceeding in the same direction that is nothing but laser i hope you got it so when you increase the voltage when you have heavily doped semiconductor more electrons enter into conduction band and finally due to stimulated emission all the electrons will come down to the ground state and port laser laser is emitted identical photons are emitted thus emitted photons travel in the same direction and therefore laser light is emerged so this is the working of laser semiconductor laser i repeat in semiconductor laser we have heavily doped p type and n type both are made up of gallium arsenide and voltage is applied more voltage is applied if you apply less voltage if you have less doping it will be light emitting diode if you apply more voltage if you have higher doping concentration it will be laser light mechanism is same in led also we get electrons into the conduction band coming down to the valence band recombination even in semiconductor is also electrons getting into conduction band coming down to the valence band recombination only thing is in led less number of electrons are coming leisurely photons are emitted spontaneously they are emitted whereas in semiconductor laser at a time they will come down so we get stimulated emission and stimulated emission finally leads to laser so this is about semiconductor laser now i move on to the next question obtain the expression for electrical conductivity of an intrinsic semiconductor so this is also one of the important question see in semiconductor
semiconductor we have two types of charge carriers namely electron and hole therefore we get two conductivities conductivity due to electron as well as hole that is the added advantage of semiconductor see in case of conductor only electrons are charge carriers whereas in semiconductor current is carried away by both electron as well as hole therefore we have conductivity sigma due to electron due to hole therefore sigma is equal to sigma e plus sigma e h anta baruthe so sigma e is for conduction of electrons sigma h is due to conductivity of holes and the derivation goes like this this is what i have mentioned here the electrical conductivity is the contribution of both electrons and holes ishtu ishtottu nanu helidu illide ee paragraph alli now first uh, sigma i told you know it is a combination of e and h so sigma is equal to sigma e plus sigma h now you straight away start with the current equation this you might have derived in puc and we don't expect the derivation of this equation here straight away you can write this uh, we know that i is equal to n e a v e okay next to take a here so that j j is nothing but current per unit area so j is equal to n e v now this equation we already used in hall effect in previous question okay so j is equal to n e v next to mobility better you define mobility mobility andre eno how freely charge can move what is the velocity for a given electric field what is the drift velocity acquired by electron or hole in a given electric field anta so and it is given by mu is equal to v divided by e where v is velocity e is applied electric field so mu is v divided by e it is nothing but the um, no, electric mobility of the charge carriers in the presence of external electric field that is velocity divided by electric field it is given by this formula so i want just v so that v is equal to mu into e okay so v is equal to mu e i to now j formula j is already there n e v okay in place of v i will write mu e therefore it is n e mu e while writing i group this n e into mu got it so j is equal to n e mu into e and we have one more equation for j this also you studied in puc second year j equal sigma e okay compare equation 2 and 3 j is there on lhs e is there on rhs in place of sigma i have n e mu therefore i can write sigma is equal to n e mu that is conductivity where n is number of charge carriers e is the charge on the particle mu is its mobility we already mentioned in the beginning that there are two types of charge carriers therefore there must be two types of conductivities namely sigma e and sigma h therefore sigma is equal to n e mu e where n e is nothing but number of electrons mu e is nothing but mobility e is nothing but charge next n h mu h n h is number of holes mu h is mobility of holes since charge is same on both you can take e on both in both the terms and it so happens that in intrinsic semiconductor remember we are talking only about intrinsic semiconductor look at the question it so happens that in intrinsic semiconductor ne is equal to nh therefore you take it as n and take that n common factor so final equation is ne into mu e plus mu h okay well dear students with this i move on to the last question this is a numerical question numerical problem resistivity of intrinsic germanium at 300 kelvin is equal to 0.47 ohm meter resistivity kottidare germanium do temperature kuda kottidare and you know resistivity is nothing but reciprocal of conductivity next assuming that hole mobility is 0.38 electron mobility is uh, uh, sorry electron mobility and hole mobility is 0.38 and 0.18 one thing you remember holes are less mobile than electrons so electrons are more mobile than holes electrons move as to free agi holes move agodilla therefore mobility of electron is slightly greater than mobility of hole nodi illa gothagutte electron mobility is 0.38 hole mobility is 0.18 in fact when electrons are rich in a given semiconductor it will carry current very easily that means if it is n type current conduction is very simple that's why in most of the cases we prefer n type semiconductor rather than p type semi conductor because of this reason now what actually we have to find out we have to find out the intrinsic charge density andre n value kandidi beko okay so sigma kottidare sigma kottilla antadru we can calculate that is reciprocal of resistivity and we have to find out uh, n mu e is given mu h is given okay so look at the formula sigma is equal to ne into mu e plus mu h okay you take the reciprocal then this becomes sigma becomes 1 by uh, sorry sigma is 1 by rho at 1 by sigma is equal to rho 
So, this is 1 by 1 by 1 by 1 by So, rho is equal to 1 by so much. I just want n. So, you do small algebraic calculation and the cross multiplication thara maadi. Amela substitute maadi. Rho value given 0.47. Okay, 0.47 into charge on the electron we know into mo uh, mobility of electron 0.38, mobility of hole 0.18. After simplifying, you get the answer. It is 2.37 into 10 power uh, plus 19. So, so many charge carriers are there. Well, dear students, with this, I am concluding the discussion of sample questions. I hope this video, these videos uh, helped you to the some extent. And in this video, I am sharing the PDF of the notes, notes and the questions and answers for this particular segment. All 10 questions along with the answers I am sharing. If possible, I will share even notes also. Please keep watching my videos, share your comments. Even when you go to higher semesters, I may be doing some videos pertaining to Maxwell's equations or electromagnetic field theory. All those videos will help you because you have those things in your higher semesters. Okay. And uh, uh, you, you inform your friends also to watch my videos and also press the like button, share the link with your friends and also subscribe to my channel so that it, I will get some uh, uh, you know uh, energy and also I get inspiration so that I can make more and more videos it will finally help the students community my intention is uh, to assist you so that you can score maximum in the examinations Estro college ali time sakak de kelu kade question papers na discuss maadi rak aagud maada kaagi ro dila so that anta kadege ee videos help aagutte anna ondhu intention ashte ne ok dear students I hope you will be there with me in this journey Please give me your uh, honest and uh, unbiased comments. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.